You were such a big star in the UFC. Who would have been your best celebrity experience and who would have been your worst? I know, I know you've met tons of massive stars over the years. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. I, I'll tell you a funny story. I, I mean, I've met, uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite, um, Rowdy Roddy Piper was sitting at a table with Matt Lindland and the Team Quest guys. And uh, I walked in. It was in a restaurant. And Rowdy Roddy was always my favorite. And so I stopped at the table and I looked across the table and there was Rowdy Roddy Piper sitting there. And I I was so excited. I was like a little kid. I, I was like, oh, my God, it's it's are you kidding me? Roddy Piper sitting right here. I go, you, you've got I walked around the table and gave him a hug. And I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. And Linlin came up to me the next day and he goes, dude, you made Piper's freaking night. And he goes, the champ knows who I am. The champ, the champ knows who I am. And I was, I, dude, I was so excited. And I'm still like, I'm still heartbroken that he passed away, but uh, absolutely love that guy. Love that guy. Yeah, he was a disciple of uh, I heard you on the Steve Austin podcast and, and you could tell he was a fan of yours. Oh my God, he's amazing, and uh, yeah. But I've had I've had some pretty funny Jason Stratham, you know, because I was a big fan of the term. Uh, what was it? The uh, the transporter was one of his first big movies, and uh, I met him, and walked up to him, and you know, guys that are big stars like that aren't necessarily used to people just grabbing them and you know, like, oh, come here, I got a freaking, it's awesome to meet you, and kind of freaked him out, I think, a little bit. So Jason Stratham, I. I traumatized him, I think, when I when I grabbed him. But uh, no, there's been a ton of guys, uh, Mick, Mickey Rourke, um, and uh, a bunch of other bunch of other people um, that I've met over the years. John Travolta came to my locker room door. I was defending my title. John Travolta's limousine pulled into the arena, underneath the belly of the arena, and he got out. And they brought him for whatever reason. I have no idea. But the Las Vegas Athletic Commission guys told me, they came in and said, you're not going to believe who was here. Uh, John Travolta in his limo came here and he, he wanted to come in here and meet you. And he, we told him he did not have uh, credentials to come in. So he was pissed off and he left. I'm fine, I'm fine with not meeting John Travolta, but, uh, but that's a pretty funny story that, that uh, he got mad and left because he couldn't come in.